and contemplate what I've just done. Hey guys, Modish Bay here and welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so now so you don't miss any more of my videos. Today is going to be something different. We're going to be doing this vlog style. I'm taking you guys along with me as I get my hair cut. My hair is down to my waist curly and completely straight. It's down to my tailbone. If you came here to see a grown woman cry, you probably came to the right place. I'm not going to cry. I'm really nervous. I've been watching like pros and cons videos and a lot of people are like, oh, when you cut your hair, you're going to notice a lot of different features that you never noticed before. And honestly, my hair hair covers half of my body. I haven't seen my body in like three to four years. What if I don't like her? What if I don't like my neck? What if I don't like my shoulders? Even though my shoulders are 10 out of 10 for that. What if I don't like my ears? I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I think I'll be okay, but I have been super nervous. I booked this a month ago and I've just been deathly ill the whole time. And last night I honestly just couldn't sleep. I'm excited for a change. I really love my long hair, but I do want to try something different, and I feel like now is the best time than ever. Let me let you guys peep the fit. I didn't really try. I just wanted to wear something comfortable because my appointment time was like for two hours. I don't think it's going to take two hours, but just in case, I wanted to be comfortable. So I just have this little cropped brown jacket. Then I have this cow neck comfy top from Harmonic Threads. I'm wearing Synergy Organic Leggings. It has the little moon phases. Can you guys see? There it is. <laughs> moon phases and then some white dirty sneakers that need to be washed. So reasons for cutting my hair. Other than wanting a change, I really wanted to be hot girl summer ready. I got vacation coming up. Um, also, my hair has just been really annoying me. I've been recently getting back into working out and trying to do burpees with my hair slapping me every which way has just not been fun. I have a long list of different reasons why I want to and why I don't, but I've just decided to go ahead and do it. I've never had my hair as short as I'm about to cut it. I'm going to surprise you guys. Um, I have had my hair semi-short and I absolutely hated it, but that was because it was against my will. So I'll see you guys once we're back in there. Wish me luck. So I wanted to do a fix it, okay? So we started off by having a small consultation before we started to get into the chopping. I was just showing her some pictures on my phone of reference pictures that I wanted my haircut to look like. We talked about different lengths and ended up deciding on three inches on the top and then on the sides it was about one inch. She sectioned off my hair first just to go ahead and do a blunt cut and then she would go and wash it and then start shaping it afterwards. Are you ready? The first few snips to my hair just felt very weird, feeling that weight coming off of my head. She started with this bottom section and just started going through and chopping, and then she moved to the section on top. This part of the cutting went by so fast I didn't really have time to think about it, and I'm so grateful for that. I had forgotten to tell her beforehand that I wanted my hair and I wanted to keep it and take it home with me. So before she was just throwing it on the ground and then once I finally told her I wanted to keep it, she started handing it to me. She picked up the hair off of the ground and she even gave me a little baggie for me to keep all of my hair in. And it was a very surreal experience to like see all of that off of me, but it also felt really good to just not have that weight on my head it was kind of awesome and this is all of the hair cut off she didn't want me to film the process of her shaping it and everything so i didn't actually get footage of that the longest part of this was the shaping i think that's the thing that took the longest was to shape it perfectly and figure out the length that we wanted kind of so this is what the hair looked like after she shaped it and after we washed it after she had finished cutting and shaping it now she's just going in with a bunch of product and she's trying to style my hair as you guys can see here just how like straight it is and by straight i don't mean like dead straight there is some kind of flick to it because i do have curly hair but it is nothing like the curly hair that i was used to so i had made a point to her saying that i was a little worried that my curls were going to disappear so she's really putting in a bunch of product trying to scrunch it so i see some curls 
And now this is me just sitting under the dryer after she styled it. And she wanted to make sure it was 100% dry so that it would stay in this style. And this is me looking at it after I've gotten out from under the dryer. And by the way, this did take the full two hour time. We both thought that it wasn't going to take that long, but it ended up taking two hours. And as I was leaving, her next client had come in and was already sitting down waiting for us to finish up with our pictures. And this is the result. She did a really good job. This is what I asked for. I wasn't expecting my curl pattern to look like this though. I do like how you can kind of like see my cheekbones more. I really like how you can see my face and honestly just the weight of that hair off of me just was so good. I really thought I was going to be more sentimental or be more sad about it but I it just feels so good just to get all that hair like off of me. Um I don't know if I would style it like this. I like this part. So when I was looking at my hair, and I mentioned this to you guys, I was like, the like when my hair comes out of my scalp, it's really, really straight. And I was like, I wonder if that's like gonna affect, you know, having, you know, with my pixie and everything. And girl, it's straight. It definitely caught me off guard. Like the top of it, see how, I'm not supposed to touch it for like an hour, but I can't help it. Um, see how this one, they're just big like the curls are just big like, I never knew my curls could be big and I don't know if you can see it can you see and the back where it's like shaved down here and this is um this is not like permed or anything that's not permed it's not like brushed down it's not straightened this is just like what it is naturally coming out of my head it's just straight back there I don't know what happened to it <laughs> she's just straight yeah, so it's just something I have to get used to. And also, uh, I'm gonna play around with styling it and everything. So I'm just showing you guys this for now. I feel like a little boy right now, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a little boy. It's just different. I don't dislike it. I think she did a really good job. She was an amazing stylist. Yeah, I wanna play with it some more before I give like my true opinions. Hey guys, welcome back. So you guys last saw me in the car filming myself a few hours after my haircut. I think it's been about a month since that video. My hair has grown out and I've already had to shave some of it off and retouch it up so that it's still short. Um, I love my short hair that much that I actually went in and shaved it off and not just you know, growing it back out immediately. So I do love the short hair. I wasn't a huge fan of how it was styled at the time. And I do think the way that it was shaped, though it was really nice, I just don't think it was flattering on me because it just looked very masculine, if that makes sense. Um, having it sleeked down like this has definitely been my favorite way to wear it. Um, it doesn't really take much for me to style it. It's really quick. I just put some product in. It's actually the same product that I was using in my last hair video. I just put those two products in. Sometimes I do oil, sometimes I don't. And then I slick it down. I put a do-rag on for like an hour or two and then it's like this. So let me give you guys a little tour of the hair. I absolutely love my hair. I'm so glad I got it cut short. It was definitely an adjustment period getting to here. Everyone that has seen me with my hair says that I look better with my short hair than I do my long hair. Um, I don't know if I agree with that, but I definitely think it's two different looks and there's just so many different features you can see on my face with my short hair that were just kind of lost and eaten up when I had my long hair. So I actually really like this short hair. If you're someone who's considering a pixie cut, I highly recommend to just go out and do it. It's really going to show the features on your face, the features on your body, my shoulders. My shoulders, okay? <laughs> I didn't realize just how much work went into my hair and how much free time and just freedom in general I have. Um, certain things that I would always be worried about with my hair or if I wanted it straight or just the, all the different things that come with long hair and curly long hair at that. A lot of people said that I would use less product 
and that has not at all been the case. I think I've used more product. Usually with my long hair, I would put some stuff at the ends and I'd call it a day. But with this, it's like all over my head. I think I'm using more product. And also I wash my hair more often now. So I'm using more product back into my hair. Also, this haircut reminds me of like Betty Boop. That's every time I style my hair like this, it reminds me of Betty Boop. I don't know why, I just feel like a cute little Betty Boop. But that is it for this video. I'm gonna have a ton more videos coming out for you guys. I have my Mexico trip that I still need to edit and I have my decluttering videos that are hopefully going to be coming out soon as well. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so now so you don't miss any more of my videos. And thank you guys so much for joining me. And until next time, bye.